Hello and welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add points of interest, building locations, roads to OpenStreetMaps database. It's no doubt that OpenStreetMap powers some of the biggest tech companies as a base map for points of interest locations, like them TripAdvisor, Bolt, and such companies. So here I have mine open. If you don't have an account, you can create an account by simply searching OpenStreetMap on Google and signing up. It's pretty fast and easy. So there are two scenarios when adding locations of interest. You can search if you are if you can navigate your map properly. You can simply search on your on the search tab here for your location of interest. So when you hover over the search results, you see the location pin on it. So if you could, if you can navigate through your location of the location of interest from a known landmark, then simply search for the landmark and find your location to map it. If you can't do that, there is also a likelihood that it's it has already been added to Google Maps database. So you can search on Google Maps, and when you find your location of interest right click and copy the coordinates there is a video in the description of this video on how you can get coordinates of any points from google maps so to edit a location on openstreetmap click on the edit button it opens a much clearer base map for you to edit this card changes i was just playing with something here so from here you can see a number of buildings have already been mapped to add a new building you click on area the shortcut for that is three click on area Zoom in nicely. This lag is due to not so great internet connection. Okay. So you click, click through the points, the external points of the building, and on the last point, double click. When you are done, right click on the building and if it's a square building, click on square and it perfectly squares the corners of the building. It's as simple as that. So you can see here, you need to identify the building area feature. It's a building. You can go on to enter the address enter the address of the building and any other known details of the building the name tags if necessary and any other details that is relevant to your point of interest so if it's a circular building for a circular building let's try something else here with this Click on the area feature. Where's my cursor? Okay. So just click around. Oh, skip that. Escape. Delete. So let's just that again. Click on this. Click on this. I won't be so thorough with this to not take much time. So when you're done with it, you double click, right click on the building 
and click on circularize so it gives you this perfect a perfect circle and then you identify the feature it's an area feature what is it is it a hospital place of worship cafe restaurant and then when you're done with that you save your changes if you have any unsaved unsaved features unidentified features if you don't know what exactly the building is you can simply enter it as a building yeah but if you do then enter the adequate um identification if you want to edit a road click on line or a point of interest you click on points same rule applies you click 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 and when you are done you double click you can right click on it and then straighten if you want it to be straight or as the case may be so be sure to identify it as well when identifying roads this is a little more tricky on OpenStreetMap's wiki page there is a record of road, road types motorway truck primary secondary and what they mean so when identifying roads be sure to be careful about how they identify it if you are not sure then simply state that you're not sure when you are done with all your changes so select yes it's a line feature so you can now select what kind of line feature it is is it major road minor road or anything else let's just call it a path so is it a footpath marked crossing sidewalk steps um i'll call it a footpath Better still, I'll delete this because I just wanted to play around with it. So when you're done, click on save, save your edits. Then you can enter details about the edits that have been made, whatever it is you made as edits. If you would like someone else to review your edits before confirming, then do that and click on upload. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Do well to check out my channel. There are a lot of videos that I'm definitely sure you'll enjoy watching.